Propane as stored in trailers, fifth wheels, and campers is handled much differently than it is in a motorhome, which uses a, a, a chassis mounted tank. For trailers and fifth wheels and campers, we use cylinders. These are what we call Department of Transportation cylinders. Now, they come in various sizes. Give us a little bit of rundown here, Bill. Sure, and this is a 40 pound cylinder, 30 pound, and a 20 pound cylinder. That's 10 gallons, seven, and five. Right out here in front, we actually have a 30 pound cylinder, but it's sitting horizontally because that's the way it mounts in campers and some of the trailers. You know, it's real easy to see that there's a difference in the sizes here when they're all put together, but if they're not put together, and unless you have a trained eye, it can be difficult to figure out how much each one of these things will hold. So here's a trick, and every one of these cylinders has got a, a guard here that protects the valving. So if you take right on the guard, you'll see that they have a stamped number here that says WC. Now that WC is water column, and the number right next to that, in, this, in the case of this cylinder, is 71.4. If you take that decimal point and move it one place over, that gives you 7.1. So there you go, seven gallon propane cylinder. Hey Bill, let's talk a little bit about the valves in these cylinders. Sure, and in 1999, they passed a law that all these propane cylinders for RVs had to have an OPD valve. OPD stands for Overfill Protection Device. You can tell by the triangular shaped knob on top of them. Some of them even say OPD right on them. All of the older ones are going to be round knobs. On the front, the threads are completely different. As you can see, the overfill protection vise has an Acme nut that goes on top of this to attach the hose. Recertification must be done by a professional. They're going to inspect the outside of the cylinder to make sure there's nothing that compromises the integrity of the cylinder. They're going to pull a valve, change the valve, stamp a new date on it, and you're good to go. So Bill, you made reference to the uh, OPD valves here. And you know, the reason we had to go there is because these cylinders can only be filled to the 80% level. And in the old days, before we had these, these kind of safety devices, we had to suffer with, with uh, service people who were overfilling these cylinders and then in their hot temperatures, then they would pop and you'd have a dangerous situation. So what they, when they came out with these OPDs, here, take one of these things, uh, they, they solved the problem here. Now this one here, is, de is designed for cylinders. And it, as you can see, it's got a float. What happens is when the service person is filling it, the float comes up and when it gets to the 80% level, it'll shut it down so that it will not accept any more propane. But that doesn't mean that you don't open up the 20% valve. You still have to do that as we discussed with, with motorhome tanks. Now that one here is from a motorhome and it, it works similar, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is the one we showed we, earlier on the motorhome tank. So uh, at 80%, you can see this is gonna shut off and it'll be filled to the proper level. They do have to open the 20% valve in order to right, bleed exactly. the pressure as they're filling. And, and a, number of, a number of service people don't think you have to do that, but you know what, if you're gonna have your cylinder or tank filled, demand it. Right. So the other thing here we're talking about here is, is color, is that, you know, you can see that this is an aluminum cylinder. Right. And then we have the white painted and then the cream colored. Okay, now the aluminum typically you find, you know, maybe in like the Airstreams, you don't see them too often. They're very expensive. There's nothing you can do with that, but you can repaint these if they get chipped up or rusted. And, and that's where you have to be very cautious. You don't want to go beyond the white or the cream colored. Unlike filling a motorhome tank, when it comes to filling these cylinders, you have to remove them from the compartment. Bill, show us how these things are mounted. The mounts really haven't changed much over the years. Here you have at the bottom, this is your tray. This is a double that holds two of them. They actually make them for a single. Threaded rod, different length threaded rod for different size cylinders. The crossbar holds the two, two cylinders down. The wing nut, tighten it up. It actually makes it pretty secure without a lot of pressure. Not very sophisticated. It's been around for as many years as I can remember, but it, it holds them down. It, it does. and I. I think I remember, I had a 1960 trailer at one time, it had the same rod and the same tray on it. It hasn't changed, and it's the same configuration that we use on the A-frame of a travel trailer. Right, same exact thing, it's just this is in a compartment hmm. on the A-frame of a travel trailer, they're out there and exposed to the weather. And one thing about having a compartment here, they're, like you said, exposed to the weather. These cylinders are not exposed to the weather because you can close this door here. Yeah, and so you protect the regulator, the hoses from sunshine, everything right. like that, and just and by simply closing the door. Right. On a travel trailer, there's a bunch of different options. There's hard covers, vinyl covers, and we can show you those next. 
One thing you want to remember, if you have propane cylinders or if you have a propane tank that's in a compartment that has a door that, that allows access, you don't want to have locks on the latches because you don't want to be fumbling for a key in an emergency when you have to get those valves shut down. Bill, here's a perfect example why you want to keep these things covered. Yeah, you can see what's happened is the sun has caused these hoses to really turn into a, just a, a rigid piece of rubber. Right. Once you get this thing tied down, secured with the uh, wing nut here, it's, we can put a cover on it. Yeah, and it, it, you could, it a little bit looks a little bit spindly here, but they really don't go anywhere. But first thing you want to do when you fill these things with propane is check that wing nut, double check it, make sure it's tight. Because if they come off, they don't bounce very well. No, in fact, the sparks are pretty lovely, though. They are. Makes a nice show. So let's look at a couple co cover options here. Here's a, a soft vinyl cover that um, very simple to put on. Yeah, let's which actually top. has a little bit of a rigid piece of wood for the top, so that the vinyl just doesn't kind of get all out of shape. So let me. It kind of takes two people to get this on because it has this this. Uh, cord around it. So let's get it down here. We're going to get it into place. Okay. Uh, let's unzip this. It, it, actually, one of the advantages it does, you're able to unzip this and turn, your, turn them on and off or, or do the changeover. And then we're going to slip this piece of wood in there. Okay. Two person job here, Bill. Carefully. It, it, <laughs> that's why you got to have your wife help. Uh huh. And then we're going to snug this snug down, it down here. There you go. So it, it, it really looks pretty good. They get a little bit stained after a while, you're going to have to take care of them because it is a piece of vinyl. Right. Now, the other option is to go with the hard cover. The hard covers are a little more expensive. They're way more durable. Let's take this off and try it out. Pretty simple to put on. We can even do it one at a time. Yeah, and they, they don't come off. I mean, you can see they're really on there pretty good. Now, the only disadvantage of these, you've got to pull it all the way off to open and close your valves. Unless you want to get the model that has the cutouts. Yeah, they do make them with cutouts and with a little wing nut or something on it that be careful with them because if they come loose, they're going to fly off down the road. So Bill, this is a seven gallon cylinder setup. This is pretty typical for travel trailers and for fifth wheels. As we talked about earlier, there, there are two other sizes. So there, there, there is a variety. There's an option out there. If you want to if you want more propane, you can go to a, yeah, to a you, larger cylinder. If you've got the five gallons, they're not enough. You can go to the sevens. Seven gallons aren't enough. You can go to the tens. 